Vandiyathevan and Alvarkadian got up eagerly and sat down beside the prince's bed. The prince began by saying, Once when I was a small boy, I was going on a boat with my parents in the Kaveri River. My brother and my father were also in the boat at that time. They were talking about something. I was the only one who noticed that the water of the river Kaveri was swirling and sometimes the Kadamba flowers were getting caught in the swirls. Those small flowers were swirling like that. It pains me to see them in distress. Sometimes I bend over the side of the boat and pick up the struggling Kadamba flowers from the whirlpools. It looked like a face I had seen before. But it doesn't seem like tomorrow. Whether it was Goddess Kaveri who saved me or some other human woman, I felt the desire to see her face once more. Whenever I go towards the Kaveri River, suddenly a thievi will not rise from the water and give me darshan. I will look around with the desire to. As the day progressed, the idea grew stronger that she might be a human woman. Therefore, whenever I go to any festival, I used to stare with interest at the faces of the old ladies gathered there. After some time, I realized that it is not a good practice to look at it like that and as the years passed by, I lost the desire to visit that divine face again. Even if she was a different woman, I felt the desire to see her face once more, which was imprinted in my mind. Whenever I go towards the Kaveri River, suddenly a thievi will not rise from the water and give me darshan. I will look around with the desire to. As the day progressed, the idea grew stronger that she might be a human woman. Therefore, whenever I go to any festival, I used to stare with interest at the faces of the old ladies gathered there. After some time, I realized that it is not a good practice to look at it like that and as the years passed by, I lost the desire to visit that divine face again. Even if she was a different woman, I felt the desire to see her face once more, which was imprinted in my mind. Whenever I go towards the Kaveri River, suddenly a thievi will not rise from the water and give me darshan. I will look around with the desire to. As the day progressed, the idea grew stronger that she might be a human woman. Therefore, whenever I go to any festival, I used to stare with interest at the faces of the old ladies gathered there. After some time, I realized that it is not a good practice to look at it like that and as the years passed by, I lost the desire to visit that divine face again. I will look around with the desire to. As the day progressed, the idea grew stronger that she might be a human woman. Therefore, whenever I go to any festival, I used to stare with interest at the faces of the old ladies gathered there. After some time, I realized that it is not a good practice to look at it like that and as the years passed by, I lost the desire to visit that divine face again. I will look around with the desire to. As the day progressed, the idea grew stronger that she might be a human woman. Therefore, whenever I go to any festival, I used to stare with interest at the faces of the old ladies gathered there. After some time, I realized that it is not a good practice to look at it like that and as the years passed by, I lost the desire to visit that divine face again. While visiting like this, we once stayed in a forest in the middle of the forest a few kilometers north of this city. Next to where we were staying was an elephant mortuary department. There the sea to the east of Sri Lanka and the sea to the west come very close and meet through a narrow channel. Sometimes herds of elephants pass through the sector to the north of Sri Lanka. Hence it is said that the place got the name Elephant Death. A strange thing happened during our stay there. Lately a wailing voice has been heard in Tavati during the night. At first it was not clear whether it was a human voice, a bird's voice, or an animal's voice, but it was filled with such sadness that the listeners shivered. First, the soldiers on the edge of the tent fell on their ears. They didn't care. Later, it was heard in many places around Pisarai. Some people came to me and said. I didn't idealize it. Are you afraid that the ghost is the devil? Then go back to town and sleep fearlessly on your mother's lap. I said. This angered them. They decided to find out whether the voice that howled was a human voice, an animal voice or the voice of the devil. They ran towards the place where Olam had come from. As they approached, the voiced figure began to run. It looked like the figure of a woman. But they could not capture that figure. 
Even after that the Olam was heard frequently without stopping. Heard in many places around Pisarai. Some people came to me and said. I didn't idealize it. Are you afraid that the ghost is the devil? Then go back to town and sleep fearlessly on your mother's lap. I said. This angered them. They decided to find out whether the voice that howled was a human voice, an animal voice or the voice of the devil. They ran towards the place where Olam had come from. As they approached, the voiced figure began to run. It looked like the figure of a woman. But they could not capture that figure. Even after that the Olam was heard frequently without stopping. Heard in many places around Pisarai. Some people came to me and said. I didn't idealize it. Are you afraid that the ghost is the devil? Then go back to town and sleep fearlessly on your mother's lap. I said. This angered them. They decided to find out whether the voice that howled was a human voice, an animal voice or the voice of the devil. They ran towards the place where Olam had come from. As they approached, the voiced figure began to run. It looked like the figure of a woman. But they could not capture that figure. Even after that the Olam was heard frequently without stopping. Are you afraid of ghosts and devils? Then go back to town and sleep fearlessly on your mother's lap. I said. This angered them. They decided to find out whether the voice that howled was a human voice, an animal voice or the voice of the devil. They ran towards the place where Olam had come from. As they approached, the voiced figure began to run. It looked like the figure of a woman. But they could not capture that figure. Even after that the Olam was heard frequently without stopping. Are you afraid of ghosts and devils? Then go back to town and sleep fearlessly on your mother's lap. I said. This angered them. They decided to find out whether the voice that howled was a human voice, an animal voice or the voice of the devil. They ran towards the place where Olam had come from. As they approached, the voiced figure began to run. It looked like the figure of a woman. But they could not capture that image. Even after that the Olam was heard frequently without stopping. They ran towards the place where Olam had come from. As they approached, the voiced figure began to run. It looked like the figure of a woman. But they could not capture that image. Even after that the Olam was heard frequently without stopping. They ran towards the place where Olam had come from. As they approached, the voiced figure began to run. It looked like the figure of a woman. But they could not capture that image. Even after that the Olam was heard frequently without stopping. Steadying my chest again, I went forward and approached the female figure. The moonlight fell well on her face. The divine face was smiling. At that moment I remembered. Goddess Kaveri is this. She is the goddess who saved me from being swept away by the flood. I was looking at her face like a person in a maze for a while. Then, Mother. Who are you? When did you come here? Why did you come? How long have I been looking for you? Why do you come directly to me if you want to see me? Why are you circling around this temple? Why are you lamenting? I screamed. The goddess did not reply. I asked again and again to no avail. After a while, tears began to well up in her eyes. Those tears broke my heart. She seemed to be trying to say something. But no word came out. An indistinct sound came from her throat. Then suddenly I knew. That she is mute and unable to speak. I have never experienced such pain as I did then. I stood idly by not knowing what to do. The woman suddenly hugged me and hugged me. Her tears fell on my head. Immediately, in the next moment, she ran away from me. No looking back. I didn't try to follow her either. When I went to Basara, I asked the soldiers who eagerly surrounded me, she is not a ghost, neither is the devil, ordinary woman. She is delusional due to some arrogance in life. If she comes again, don't keep going and bothering her. I definitely ordered that. But no word came out. An indistinct sound came from her throat. Then suddenly I knew. 
that she is mute and unable to speak. I have never experienced such pain as I did then. I stood idly by, not knowing what to do. The woman suddenly hugged me and hugged me. Her tears fell on my head. Immediately, in the next moment, she ran away from me. No looking back. I didn't try to follow her either. When I went to Basara, I asked the soldiers who eagerly surrounded me, she is not a ghost, neither is the devil, ordinary woman. She is delusional due to some arrogance in life. If she comes again, don't keep going and bothering her. I definitely ordered that. But no word came out. An indistinct sound came from her throat. Then suddenly I knew. That she is mute and unable to speak. I have never experienced such pain as I did then. I stood idly by, not knowing what to do. The woman suddenly hugged me and hugged me. Her tears fell on my head. Immediately, in the next moment, she ran away from me. No looking back. I didn't try to follow her either. When I went to Basara, I asked the soldiers who eagerly surrounded me, she is not a ghost, neither is the devil, ordinary woman. She is delusional due to some arrogance in life. If she comes again, don't keep going and bothering her. I definitely ordered that. An indistinct sound came from her throat. Then suddenly I knew. That she is mute and unable to speak. I have never experienced such pain as I did then. I stood idly by, not knowing what to do. The woman suddenly hugged me and hugged me. Her tears fell on my head. Immediately, in the next moment, she ran away from me. No looking back. I didn't try to follow her either. When I went to Basara, I asked the soldiers who eagerly surrounded me, she is not a ghost, neither is the devil, ordinary woman. She is delusional due to some arrogance in life. If she comes again, don't keep going and bothering her. I definitely ordered that. An indistinct sound came from her throat. Then suddenly I knew. That she is mute and unable to speak. I have never experienced such pain as I did then. I stood idly by, not knowing what to do. The woman suddenly hugged me and hugged me. Her tears fell on my head. Immediately, in the next moment, she ran away from me. No looking back. I didn't try to follow her either. When I went to Basara, I asked the soldiers who eagerly surrounded me, she is not a ghost, neither is the devil, ordinary woman. She is delusional due to some arrogance in life. If she comes again, don't keep going and bothering her. I definitely ordered that. Then suddenly I knew. That she is mute and unable to speak. I have never experienced such pain as I did then. I stood idly by, not knowing what to do. The woman suddenly hugged me and hugged me. Her tears fell on my head. Immediately, in the next moment, she ran away from me. No looking back. I didn't try to follow her either. When I went to Basara, I asked the soldiers who eagerly surrounded me, she is not a ghost. Neither is the devil, ordinary woman. She is delusional due to some arrogance in life. If she comes again, don't keep going and bothering her. I definitely ordered that. Then suddenly I knew. That she is mute and unable to speak. I have never experienced such pain as I did then. I stood idly by, not knowing what to do. The woman suddenly hugged me and hugged me. Her tears fell on my head. Immediately, in the next moment, she ran away from me. No looking back. I didn't try to follow her either. When I went to Basara, I asked the soldiers who eagerly surrounded me, she is not a ghost, neither is the devil, ordinary woman. She is delusional due to some arrogance in life. If she comes again, don't keep going and bothering her. I definitely ordered that. I stood idly by not knowing what to do. The woman suddenly hugged me and hugged me. Her tears fell on my head. Immediately, in the next moment, she ran away from me. No looking back. I didn't try to follow her either. When I went to Basara, I asked the soldiers who eagerly surrounded me, she is not a ghost, 
neither is the devil, ordinary woman. She is delusional due to some arrogance in life. If she comes again, don't keep going and bothering her. I definitely ordered that. I stood idly by, not knowing what to do. The woman suddenly hugged me and hugged me. Her tears fell on my head. Immediately, in the next moment, she ran away from me. No looking back. I didn't try to follow her either. When I went to Basera, I asked the soldiers who eagerly surrounded me, she is not a ghost, neither is the devil, ordinary woman. She is delusional due to some arrogance in life. If she comes again, don't keep going and bothering her. I definitely ordered that. When I went to Basera, I asked the soldiers who eagerly surrounded me, she is not a ghost, neither is the devil, ordinary woman. She is delusional due to some arrogance in life. If she comes again, don't keep going and bothering her. I definitely ordered that. When I went to Basera, I asked the soldiers who eagerly surrounded me, she is not a ghost, neither is the devil, ordinary woman. She is delusional due to some arrogance in life. If she comes again, don't keep going and bothering her. I definitely ordered that. Throughout the next day, I often had the idea of shaking my beard and going away from there. But I could not make up my mind. I had a desire in my heart that maybe the woman would come again. In such a thought, the time passed, night came. My hopes were not in vain. I heard that voice near the beard. I told the other soldiers not to follow me and went towards the place where I heard the voice. The lady welcomed me with the same smile as on the first day. She was staring at me for a while. She was trying to say something I couldn't understand. Then she took my hand and went away. I did not hesitate to go with her. When I went along the forest path, the branches of the thorn plants did not fall on me. It melted my heart. After a short distance, a hut was seen. Inside that hut, a small lamp was burning brightly. I saw an old man lying there in the light. I knew that he was lying sick. His whole body was shivering as if he was shivering with unbearable cold. His body was sometimes lifting up. His teeth were clenched. His eyes were red and burning like fire. He was muttering some incoherent words. Do you remember? Wasn't there a picture shivering in the Mahabodhi Vihara we saw in the cave today? Wasn't it said that the gods had breathed on him? Then I remembered the old man I saw in the hut in the middle of the forest. I wondered whether the Bhikkhus had been breathed on by the gods or by a deadly disease called middle fever. I did not publish about it. Why publish? Why spoil the faith of those devotees? It seems that I have made a big mistake by allowing this Birhara festival to take place this year. What will happen if the cold comes to this ancient city, which is already more than half destroyed? The remaining people will also leave here. Gotta run. Saying this, Aroma's Hivarma was deep in thought. Vandiyathevan waited patiently and said, Sir. Let this city go anyway. What happened in the hut afterwards? Tell me. He said. Nothing happened in the hut, the Madrazi seemed to think that I should not stay there long. She immediately took my hand and pulled me out. Then by some signals she said what she wanted to say. My mind knew what she wanted to say. Don't stay in this area. If you stay here, you will get this cold and fever. Get out of here immediately and leave. She told me through signals and made me know. I also learned that she gave this warning because of her immense love for me. I took it as a warning from the goddess and ordered to remove the beard from there that night. It made the soldiers with me happy.